In this clip, I want to share with you one of the problems with the translation of words from Dutch, my mother tongue, into English, the language of this course. More concretely, in this section, you will find the translation of an exercise van Macht naar Kracht. In Dutch, Macht and Kracht are two different words with very different meanings and connotations. In English, both words are translated as power. I wonder why the English language has no word for kracht. In Dutch, we use kracht in many combinations with other words. For example, natuurkracht, which means nature. Or Levenskracht, which means vitality. Kracht is a yin word, and women are usually seen as krachtig, while macht is a yang word, and men are usually in positions with macht, power. I wonder whether the English language reflects a dominance of yang or male values over yin or female values. And how much this is a reflection of a social cultural environment where there are no words to express the yin side of an experience. Having no specific words in a language has very deep cultural roots and far-reaching consequences, as if the whole range of experiences has no right to exist. We resolve this language problem by translating kracht into power strength or power within. Kracht is by its true nature authentic and involves living forward, even when it is painful and confronting. Like giving birth can be experienced as painful for the mother and the child. And at the same time, there is beauty and joy in that process. And you need to find the balance between using your kracht and letting go one of my friends from India recognized immediately the similarity between kracht and shakti. The Sanskrit word shakti is derived from the word shak, which means potential to create. The term shakti also represents feminine energy. Shakti is the inherent creative aptitude underlying the cosmos and is the energizing force of every being and everything. All interpretations of the word Shakti hold common one parameter which means power. From my experience with female English friends, I know they struggle with the word power. Some women react being called powerful with alarm, assuming that being powerful means being domineering or threatening. They confuse power with oppression, having power over someone else. Maybe the assertive meaning of power comes closer to kracht, because then it's not about the power of intimidation, but power that comes through finding and being yourself. In this section, we describe different types of power. Omnipotence, powerlessness, power struggle, 
and power strength. None of these types of power are good or bad in themselves. For existential well-being, you must be able to take on the different types in turn. An optimal approach to life presupposes that you can abandon one kind of power by crossing over to a different one, irrespective of gender. To give you an idea of your personal relationship to different types of power, you can get a quick first taste by sensing which of the following statement applies best or least to you. Better omnipotence than powerlessness. Better to suffer than resist. Better to fight than surrender. I use my resources in interaction with the flow of life. I hope you now feel challenged and invited to explore the power issue further with the article and exercises in this section.